A somber cloud hangs over the larger-than-life world of professional wrestling today with the news of the death of Macho Man Randy Savage. Savage, who was a four-time WCW World Heavyweight Champion, a two-time WWF Champion, a WWF Intercontinental Champion, and a King of the Ring winner in 1987, is widely regarded as one of the biggest stars in the history of professional wrestling. When news of Savage's passing broke, several wrestling legends took to social media sites like Twitter to express the loss of a wrestling icon. Bret Hart tweeted, I have no words to say. This one hits me hard. We lost one of the best. The Rock wrote, Rest in peace, Randy Macho Man Savage. You were one of my childhood inspirations and heroes. Strength, love, and prayers to the Savage Poffo family. And Hulk Hogan, a one-time tag team partner and longtime rival, tweeted, I'm completely devastated. After over 10 years of not talking with Randy, we finally started to talk and communicate. He had so much life in his eyes and in his spirit. I just pray that he's happy and in a better place, and we miss him. We miss him a lot. I feel horrible about the 10 years of having no communication. This was a tough one. Not only did Savage's passing affect his close friends, but also his fans. Macho Man came in a time where uh, wrestling had... Uh, larger than life characters and he was a guy that caught my attention as a young kid and he was one of the reasons why I watched and uh, found out today uh, when, the re when the report came out and uh, there's a larger than life character from my childhood who is gone and uh, just wish I could have seen him get inducted in the Hall of Fame. Macho Man's death is a very big uh, disappointment to me. I mean, he's one of the greatest classic ring performers of all time. Uh, what I remember about the Macho Man Randy Savage, I guess I didn't start watching wrestling until he was done, but I'm a huge Reds fan, and I, I will remember that he was in their farm system. And I will also, of course, always remember the Slim Jim uh, commercials. Um, and now every time I eat a Slim Jim, I will think of him. But certainly when you watch wrestling, you can't watch without thinking of him and knowing all the contributions that uh, he made to the WWE and uh, he's a legend. That's really all you can say. Well, I guess my first uh, memory of the Macho Man Randy Savage was actually when he was a heel. He was the Macho King, and uh, he cost Ultimate Warrior the uh, world title. I guess that was the late 80s, I guess. I know before that, obviously, he was with Hogan and the Mega Powers. I hadn't jumped into wrestling at that point, but, uh, you know, a little bit after that, uh, after he lost his career match with, uh, with the Warrior, he somehow comes back and uh, ends up winning the title from Ric Flair at WrestleMania, which was really cool. Um, really, my, 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 the memory that I remember the most about him was his feud with the Ultimate Warrior at SummerSlam at Wembley Stadium. That was really when I had really started to watch wrestling. And it was odd because they were both good guys at the time, and very rarely did you ever see that. So it was interesting, and the storyline was... You know, you know, you got Ric Flair on the side who doesn't have a match in that pay-per-view, and Mr. Perfect, who is his manager, uh, supposedly he is going to be in one of their two corners, and so the whole time you're trying to think, okay, who, which corner is he going to be in? You know, Macho Man ends up keeping the belt, and then he loses it to uh, to Ric Flair not long after that. But uh, he was he was cool. I yeah, <laughs> he was just one of those guys that you you couldn't help but not like and even if you disliked him it was almost like a mutual disliking you know you, you got that in sports where you love to hate someone well if you didn't like him it, you love to hate him that was the deal uh you know he just he was such a charismatic guy his voice just set him apart from everything and uh of course uh his slim jim commercials i'm sure made them a lot of money <laughs> but uh no nah, it, 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 it's sad to see him pass away uh you know again he was always you know one of those guys that uh you, you wanted to root for no matter what he was doing so um I hope, uh, hope his family uh, can uh, grieve and, and have their time to uh, you know, celebrate his life. There is a tradition in professional wrestling that when a performer passes away, that they are honored with a 10-bell salute. So what better way to honor the memory of a wrestling legend like Macho Man Randy Savage than with this long-standing tradition?